Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to look at the question minimum at a distance. So the question is given two strings and certain operations like edit, delete and add, how many minimum operations would it take to convert one string into another string? So let's look at an example here. I have first string A, B, C, D, E, F and another string A, Z, C, E, D. How many minimum operations which is edit, delete or add would it take to convert this string into this string? So let me write those string here. So in this case, A and A is same, B can be converted to Z, C and C is same, D can be deleted, E and E is same, and F can be converted to D. So it would take three operations two edits and one delete to convert the string A, B, C, D, E, F to string A, Z, C, E, D. So how do we find the minimum number of operations and what are those operations? So we will use dynamic programming to solve this question. So as you can see, I have this first row as the first string A, B, C, D, E, F and my first column is A, Z, C, E, D. Here I have an extra column, an extra, extra column and extra row which is just saying which is just saying that if if I had a string a b c d e f on one side and null string on another side it would take six edits to convert this into this and this says that if I had a null string here and a string a z c e d here then it would take five edits to convert that into this now let's let's start filling up the rest of the matrix so now we have let's let's start from this point if we had only one string if, if, if our first string only had one character A, and if our second string only had one character A, how many edits would it take to convert A to A? Zero. If, if your first string had two characters AB and our second string had character A, how many edits would it take to convert AB to A? One, which is deleting B. If we had characters A, B, C on first string and A on another string, it would take two edits, two, two operations to convert A, B, C to A. If we had A, B, C, D and A, then it would take three operations, four operations for E and five operations for F. So if we had a string A, B, C, D, E, F on one side and A on another side, it would take five operations to convert that into this. All right, let's fill up this row. So if we had string A here and A and Z here, it would take one operation to convert A into AZ, which is adding a Z there. So one. If we had string AB here and AZ here, it would again take one operation to convert AB to AZ. So let's look at how we are coming with this number. So the, the way we come up with this number is you look at what is on the left, what is diagonally up, and what is at the top. And you say, what is the minimum of the three? So in this case, it's zero. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So that's how we came up with all these numbers. If you look here, minimum of these 3, so 2 plus 1, 3. Minimum of these 3, 3 plus 1, 4. Minimum of these 3, 4 plus 1, 5. So at all the locations, if the characters are different, so you use this technique. You see minimum of the 3 plus 1. Let's say if our string is A, B, C and A, Z, since Z and C are different, we'll say minimum of this 3 plus 1, so 2. Since Z and D are different, so minimum of this 3 plus 1, 3. Z and E are different, so minimum of this 3 plus 1, 4 and 5. So if I had a, if I had a string A, B, C, D, E, F and A, Z, it would take 5 operations to convert that string into this string. Let's bring C into the picture. Since C and A are different, it would take minimum of this 3 plus 1, so 2, 1 plus 1, 2. Since B and C are different, so it will take minimum of this 3 plus 1, 2 again. Now here, C and C are same. What this means is that you have to do nothing to convert this C into this C. So what you're saying is minimum number of operations to convert A, B, C to A, Z is same as minimum number of operations it will take to convert A, B to A, Z. Because C and C are same, so they are out of the picture. So we are saying is what is the minimum number of operations required to convert A, B to A, Z? And that's one. And that's one. So this is still one. So if they are same, you just get the diagonal value. If they are different, you get the minimum of the three. Again, C and D are different, so you get the minimum of the three, which is two. E and C are different, minimum of the three, which is 
uh, 2 plus 1, 3. C and F are different, so minimum of the 3 plus 1, 4. Let's fill up this row. Minimum of the 3, since A and E are different, minimum of the 3, so 2 plus 1, 3. E and B are different, so minimum of these 3, which is 2 plus 1, 3. E and C are different, so 2. E and D are different, so 2 again. Minimum of the this 3, which is 1 plus 1. E and again now here E and E are same. So what this means is you don't it doesn't take anything to convert this character E to this character. So the minimum number of operations would be what it takes to convert A B C D to A Z C, which we have already calculated, which is two. So this is two here. If they are same, all you do is get the value from the diagonal. E and F are different, so minimum of the three plus one. So two plus one three. Let's fill up the last row. E and D are different, so Minimum of the 3 plus 1, so 4. D and B are different, so minimum of the 3 plus 1, 4. D and C are different, so minimum of 3 plus 1, 3. Here D and D are same, so minimum of the 3 plus 1, 2. So if D and D are same, sorry, if D and D are same, so you just get the diagonal value, so 2. D and E are different, so minimum of the 3 plus 1, 3. So minimum of 3 is 2 plus 1, 3. D and F are different, so minimum of the 3 plus 1. So minimum is 2 plus 1, 3. So this is our final answer. So if I had string A, B, C, D, F and another string A, Z, C, E, D, it would take three operations, edits, deletes and adds to convert this particular string into this string. Now if someone asks you what are these operations, so you can derive those operations from this matrix. So let's start from here. Where is this 3 coming from? It's coming from here. So when you're going diagonally, it means that you're converting this character to this character. So F becomes D. When, now where is this 2 coming from? This 2 is coming from here. So when you move diagonally and when they are same, you do nothing. So you don't need to convert E to E. Let's look at 2. When you're moving, this 2 is coming from this plus 1. So when you're moving left, it means that you deleted this particular character. So D is deleted. Where is this one coming from? Here, so since these guys are same, so we move up here. Where is this one coming from? Either from here or here. So let's, uh, so sorry, so this one is again coming from zero plus one. So we move diagonal, and since we're moving diagonal, Z, B becomes Z. And where is this zero coming from? It's coming from here, and these two characters are same. So these are our operations. F becomes D, as we had initially derived. B is deleted from here, and B becomes Z. So let me write the formula for this uh, particular question. If str1i is equal to equal to str2 j and t of i j is equal to t of i minus 1 j minus 1 else so if the both the characters are same all you do is get the diagonal value if they are different then you get the minimum of the 3 plus 1. So if they're same, you just get the diagonal value. If, if they're different, then you get the minimum of left, top, or diagonal plus 1. If you want the full code for this, for this question, go to my GitHub link, github.com, mission piece, interview, wiki. Thanks for watching this video.